Okaylin caused me a recently got access to some brand new rally moves. The first move will be in Fire Slam, which the Unleashed version will really enjoy. It can now finally hit the Metal Titan Lumions that used to wall it. And the second move is Dissipate, which is really good on the Encaged version, which allows it to be one of the best pivoters in the game. Okaylin, hopping into the first battle, I think Cosmio looks pretty decent against here. I mean, it is actually a rain team, so my ability should actually do something. Although Seer Knight is like the one Metal Type Lumion, didn't really want to see. Fire Slam doesn't hit it super effective. It's fine though, although I will say my team is a little bit weird. My only entry hazard -d 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 user is um Weaselin. I forgot his name for a second. My only entry hazard -er is Weaselin, which obviously isn't a great Lumine to lead a battle with, but you can like save it for like the mid to late game. I'm probably gonna try and switch this in either against the Nevermare but most likely I'm going to be using it against the, uh, not the Morphezu, not Behemoth, Leviatros. <laughs> I literally forgot all of their names. <laughs> well, I don't see why I can't just go for a completely free Elemental Burst, although they are going to go into Seer Knight. It's fine. I'll get a little bit of chip damage. And this also, like, identifies immediately. It isn't a secret ability to Seer Knight. It is a normal ability one. Here, Len, we can go into your snack. Seer Knight is most likely, I guess it could go for entry hazards. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Your snack can just switch in. I can just go for a slap down, remove his held item, which might be... Actually, it's probably in essence, if I had to guess, which like isn't super important to get rid of. If it's like a heavy shield or armor, that might be like more beneficial to get rid of, but no. They go for the house switch immediately into Dokumari. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, th this is completely fine. I'm gonna go for a baffle here. We're just gonna pivot on the Dokumari. I guess here I can try and go into my Cosmiar. Mostly depends on what they're gonna click low, because if they're gonna go for baffle... Ah... Uh, who's faster? Am I faster? Okay, let's go for Baneful. Also, that means I'm slower, so that means I'll always be the slower baffle user here, which is great. I am gonna go into Cosmere. I don't have, like, another great switch in for Dokumari anyway. Now, here, we have to make a decision. Do I want to go for Bulk Up and start setting up against the Dokumari, or do I want to throw off a Cerebral Slash and just do some damage to it? It mostly depends. If it's the Sponge Range Tanky one, I should probably hit it. If it's the melee entry hazard bab setter upper, I probably should bulk up so I don't have to really deal with poison babs that much. I'm gonna go for bulk up just because I feel like it's a little bit safer here. So I don't have to like worry about getting poison babs on my side of the field. It just go for the baffle though, which is really, really bad. Although actually, because they stayed in on for a baffle, I'm going to assume it's most likely a melee defensive one though. Because if it's a ranged defensive one, I feel like it probably wouldn't want to just take a completely free hit. Um, also, it looks like my Cosmo's ability doesn't do anything if rain comes in after. So I am going to switch out here. Deladrix is really, really threatening. I don't actually have like a great switch in low. I'm not going to lie. So I guess we're going Weasel in here. I did kind of forget about the Deladrix. Giving this thing heavy shackles, I think is probably great. I mean super frail it's a glass cannon so if i basically just make it super super slow it's not gonna do anything now for the rest of the battle so i think this is fine i also got boots on my weasel in which is all right i'm really really fast now okay and they go into skellic this is fine we can just tribute against this honestly i i want babs low but at the same time i don't like have a great switch into skellic so i think i just have to tribute immediately and just go straight into my, um, Cosmiar, I'm guessing is probably the best thing to do. I can turn off, um, the rain low if I go into Cosmiar. Also, that should mean Skellic's ability shouldn't double its speed anymore. I actually haven't, like, really used Cosmiar ever since it got an ability change. So, honestly, I forgot entirely how the interaction works. I'm pretty sure it should turn it off low. Here, low, I'm most likely going to assume Skellic is going to go for... Drudge, I would guess. Yeah, okay. So right now it's a plus one speed and minus one melee attack. Then, like I said, we can go into Cosmere here and uh, 
I guess I could probably try and set up bulk ups alongside it clicking Drudge. Don't know if it's like super necessary low. Although, although I did get rid of Deladric's uh, boots, so I think actually it's probably fine to do this. Dokomori switching in. This is fine. I'm going to hit it this time with a Cerebral Slash. And we should do at least half of his health. At least. I think. Hopefully. Well, we're about to find out. And yeah, we do more than half. I would assume... Oh! That is actually a... Okay, it might be a melee defensive one, just with Sponge. Which actually, I don't know why I didn't really think about that. Usually whenever I see like a Sponge Dokumari, I always assume, oh, it's just a ranged tanky one. I guess not. So, uh, hey, uh, that's fine. Dokumari is out of the picture. High school traps... I mean, yeah, are a little bit annoying, but they aren't, like, super great against my team. Deladric is switching in. I mean, this is super slow, so honestly, I can just go for a Meteor Smash here and just remove it. I don't see really why not. Well, maybe this is what they want me to do, because the rain is up, and I don't think my Cosmere disables rain, since rain came in after I was already on the field. So then they can go into their, um, Skellic. Maybe that's their plan. I think I still just click uh, Meteor Smash. They should just one-shot Deladrix since I'm a plus one. We do. Another Deladrix is down. Once Rain is gone, it's never coming back, which is great for us. I am running out of energy, though, which is going to be a big problem. Yep, and Skellic is coming right back in. I'm a plus one, so I feel like I should just Meteor Smash again. I mean, Skellic shouldn't threaten one-shotting me unless it critical hits me. I don't know if I can one-shot it low. Skellic is very bulky, although I am at plus one. So this should do like a big chunk of its health either way. Although I will say, not entirely... Okay, I actually just one-shot it. Not entirely too sure why they didn't just go into Seal Knight. Seal Knight kind of walls me. It resists Ancient. It resists uh, Mind. Fire Summon is only neutral against it, so I mean, it could just threaten me with, uh, not Boiling, Searing Steels. Not entirely too sure why they didn't go into this earlier, but yeah, it's just Searonite and one more Lumion, and honestly, I don't remember what it is. I don't think it really matters, though. We could go for a rest tier against the Searonite. Um, it mostly depends what else they have. I really don't know. I am going to switch out, though. We can always worry about trying to rest later, but Cosmere has kind of done its job. I mean, they got rid of the uh, weather duo that I was kind of scared about. Skellic is so freaking scary. Never mind that, Deladrix is also just scary as well. So, yeah, I mean, it did its job. I'll take it. We always just want to go for a baffle here. Doesn't really matter what the Seal Knight hits us with. Even that burn, yet it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And now we can just go into uh, Zulong, right? Uh, we could also go Eliguana. I should outspeed it now since I just lowered its speed and I can just mudslide. I think I'll actually do that. Zulong would be good because also we got rid of Dokumori already so I can just Thunder Strike. Although if it's Nevermare, don't really want it to get a free switch into a Zulong and to force me out. I think we'll do this. It also lets me get rid of the uh, Icicle Trap straight away now. Like without taking any more unnecessary damage. Oh, actually, a little bit surprised I stayed in. I'll take it low. I mean, Sierra is going to take so much freaking damage. It is Milkshake low. Okay. Probably should have slapped that down earlier. I wasn't, like, really thinking about it because I was like, oh, it doesn't have health amulet, so I guess I don't really, like, desperately need to get rid of this item. No. I kind of forgot about Milkshake. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Here, I could honestly just let Eliguana go down. I'm actually going to go for a Juvenate. So it has to use slap down twice. So I can get my Cosmere in and maybe go for a rest while they need to go for a rest at the same time. Maybe. I, I feel like it's a probably a good idea. Uh, I'll go for a rest here just to like make sure they actually take me down. Please. 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 Nice. Okay. Eleguana should go down. This might be really, really dumb. Especially if they brought Zulong. Eleguana would have been really good against that. Don't know why I didn't really think about it until now, but it's fine. But we get to go into Cosmere and go for a rest. I mean, it doesn't really matter, though, because I don't really like this matchup anyway, so I'm going to switch back out immediately. 
I just want to get the rest just in case Cosmo has a really good uh, uh, 1v1 against the last Lumion. And it's never Mirror, so I think, honestly, that is probably the best play I could have made. I mean, yeah, we just got to go for a Meteor Smash now. Fire Slam is also good against Nevermare, but why would I ever risk that? We can just go for um, Meteor Smash, do some pretty good damage. It did go for a bulk up, but I mean, yeah, Cosmira lost its um, ability to like steal any ability in the game. So it loses out on like a lot of damage increasing abilities, but Cosmira still has one of the highest melee attack stats in the game. If it can hit something super effective, it's still doing a big chunk. And yeah, we're most likely going to lose Cosmere here now, though. Unless Primal Slash doesn't critical hit. Nah, it still took me out. But it's fine. Now we can just go into my Zulong, and I think we just win. We could also go Your Snack and um, Shadow Sprint the Nevermare. It might be enough to KO, but there's no need to risk it. Let's just go Zulong, click Elemental Bursts. And we should be pretty good now. All I gotta do is switch back into your snack, click Baffle, go back into Zulong, click Thunderstrike. This is the easiest switch in the game because the is out of energy, so we can't break my tank. So hey, next turn, I'm so good. There's no way it's gonna one-shot me, even if it does critical hit me with two burn ticks. I don't care. I completely don't care. We just Baffle here, and yep. Thunderstrike on Zulong should be enough to win us the game here. Unless I somehow miss a 100% accurate move, there's no way I don't one-shot it, right? <laughs> I'm just getting flashbacks to the freaking Venom Slash Dakuda. That was terrifying. I was not expecting that. I literally couldn't even see the health bar. Like, I had to, like, physically squint and zoom super close to my monitor just to see that. But hey, we did it. Osmira looks pretty good goods obviously it's like nowhere near like what its old capabilities were being limited to like this one ability is very like underwhelming but especially against like rain teams if you don't want to like run your own weather team you could just slap a cosmia on your team especially if you're weak to certain weather teams so it's just like oh yeah cosmia exists it just beats them i guess kind of single-handedly also i did that have like some help from like the weaselin Heavy shackling that Deladrix was definitely the right decision. Okay, then next up, let's go over the encased Cosmere. It recently got dissipate at the same time as it got Fire Slam, so now Meatball Cosmere is one of the bulkiest, slowest pivoters in the game. Okay, I'm just gonna lead up with Florent. Hopefully, we get a pretty good matchup. Uh, that's not really a great matchup, not gonna lie. Now, I am using. Oh, actually, Terrifying isn't that bad. That means it isn't gonna hit as hard as it normally would. So, I actually have two Cosmeros, and I'm probably going to do two different battles with them. I have a robust one and a clever one. Basically, they're the exact same. The only difference is the defenses are swept around. So, sw swept? I tried saying swapped and switch at the same time. So, one's robust 200 melee defense. One is clever 200 melee defense. That's the only difference, really. Here, Len, I should probably not stay in. I guess I will just half switch into my Cosmear. So we could try and set up Icicle Trap. There are also a couple of things on this guy's team that I don't really appreciate. Raging Flame, I don't care. I have Mysterious Dust, so I can get rid of it. And also, I have got Slumber, which when paired with Mysterious Dust means I can try and wake up as fast as possible. Here, low, I don't see why I can't just click Dissipate. Yeah, I'm just going to click Dissipate. I don't think they're going to stay in. I'm going to swap out probably into... Oh. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting to clip. I was expecting Colossal Trops or Snow Goop. This is fine. We could go Weasel in here, but it's probably a bad idea. Could also go Florum, but Seer Knight's most likely gonna switch back in, so... Yeah. A little thinking about it. Florence is kind of my only switch in for to clips. Nothing else my team really wants to take a hit from it. So yeah, I guess we'll just go Florence and... Throw off Parasitize, although Seer Knight is going to switch back in, right? Yeah. At least we're getting some chip damage low, so I can't complain, I guess. Okay, this will probably do like 5 damage. May maybe 10, because you know Power Jaws, but yeah, it's practically no damage. Good to know they don't have health time lots. Could be what, like Milk Shit, could be like Heavy Armor or Shield. Could just be like a Pearl, maybe? Uh, We could go back into Cosmere, I feel like it is a little bit predictable, but... 
I don't think the Serenite should be hitting me too hard since I think it's a very tanky one. There's Barbs. Okay, Barbs are a little bit problematic because I did not bring my fish Garner. Oh no, that's pretty bad. Okay, well, I think we're just going to stay in and probably Barbs or slap down me again. So I'll get up one layer of Icicle Traps. And I guess we can try and worry about Sea Unite later. I don't think they're going to stay in a nullo turn, right? They're definitely going to switch out. Either way, I'm going to go for Dissipate again. I don't need to slumber right now. We can probably slumber on the next time we switch into Sea Unite. And yep, they actually go for the hard switch now, which is great. The clips are going to take a little bit of damage. Now, I guess we could go Chienta just for off a Mega Punch so the... Sierra Knight doesn't get a super free switch in. I could also go Florence and double immediately into my Chienta to predict that switch. Although, I'm not sure if that's like a great idea. Maybe it would be better to do Florence into Zulong for the Thunder Strike. Yeah, let's try that. I think that's probably a better idea. Okay, there is the Sierra Knight, just as planned. We are taking a little bit of damage from the Barbs, which is pretty annoying, but it's whatever. Real, like, a real shame I don't have the Fish Garner. For some reason, I looked at our team and didn't see any Barb users. I forgot Sea Knight had Barbs. I honestly was expecting, like, a Drudge Sea Knight. Although, the Barb one is, like, more common these times, like, these days. But yeah, here, I am just going to click Thunder Strike, do some pretty good damage. If it's Heavy Shield, it there's a good chance it lives. If not, I think it just gets one shot. So, yeah, they're just going to go for Lift Draw. Into Violana. Okay. This thing is going to be a little bit annoying, but hey. Icicle Traps are getting us some nice, pretty good chip damage. Uh, we could just go for Thunder Strike again. There is a small chance we might get a nice damage roll to KO it. I don't think it's worth it, though. Although, at the same time, I don't really like have a great switch, so let's just gamble it. And I got a critical hit, so hey, it worked out in the end. <laughs> Okay, I probably shouldn't have gambled that, but I mean, I'm taking it. Okay, Bar Badger is switching in now. Okay, Bar Badger is very, very scary. Uh, I don't think it's going to be their boot user. I would assume it's just like a wall breaker. Got to be a little bit careful about this. Obviously, Cosmior and take like um, Rogue Assaults. Don't know if I really want to take like Ice Hammer as low. So I think sacrificing my Weasel in here is probably my best case scenario. I gotta give the Bar Badger Heavy Shackles. Why um, did it have? Probably Brawler Essence. I don't think it had an item. What the heck, man? What the heck? <laughs> oh, I didn't get an item in return. Oh, no, no, I did. I did get boots. I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Uh, it probably would have been a good idea, Lin, to let it keep the Barbs, but oh well. Also, yeah, I'm dumb. It is 7 a.m. I haven't been to bed yet. I can't read. <laughs> I just refuse. Okay, I'm not entirely too sure if I should go back into Zulong or Chienta. Both of them can hit the Bar Badger for super effective, but I'm going to go Chienta. I think Zulong is a little bit more valuable in case I don't one-shot it, and I don't think any of them are going to one-shot it, so we'll take this trade. I mean, Rogue Assault is completely fine. And now I can actually go into my Cosmior. And I can just click Psycho Blast. We lost beat it. They're at minus one. So yeah, I think we can take this. I guess we could have also like doubled back into Cosmior there to like predict that, but that's fine. I'm gonna go Cosmior here low and just take out the Bad Badger. I think we might take a Dark Surge from Teclipse if it comes down to it. So I should be able to slumber against it or probably just dissipate against it. I don't know. Either way, see ya later, Bad Badger. Okay, and actually, Sea Knight is switching in here. Does get rid of the Ice Code Traps, which is a little bit annoying, but it's whatever. I'm gonna go for Slumber here. Unfortunately, we did lose our uh, Mysterious Dust, so I can't wake up early. Although, this is f fine. Maybe. I mean, once we get back to, like, full health, I don't necessarily need to stay in. Sea Knight shouldn't really be hurting us, like, that much, right? If anything, we're just gonna waste this energy. And yeah. <laughs> we take that so well. Even if that was Ace, or not Ace, Awakening, I probably could have tanked that either way. So, I mean, hey, I'll gladly take it. Here, Len, I think I'm just going to wait and just let this uh, heal up a little bit. 
is pretty predictable that they could just go into the Eclipse here, but I don't think it really matters. I mean, yeah, it looks like they are going to do that. Because we have Florence, it doesn't even matter if they get to plus one or maybe plus two. As long as I don't get flinched, I think Florence is completely fine into this. Kirillin, I'm just going to go for Dissipate. I don't think I wake up this turn. I think it's next turn, but I might as well just click it anyway. Yeah, actually going for the Dark Surge. I guess we get to check how much do I take. Okay, I actually take a pretty good amount. Uh, <laughs> not a big fan of that, although I do get a lot of health back. So I want to gamble. I'm pretty sure I can take a Dark Surge, Searing Steel, and Barb Chip damage. I think I can. So I'm going to let the Eclipse hit me again. I'm going to go for Dissipate. Glad I didn't. <laughs> really glad I didn't get um, Flinch Slayer. That would have been really, really bad. So there's the Florence. They're obviously going to go back into uh, Seer Knight here. So I don't really see why I can't just go back into Cosmior. So, I mean, hey, I will gladly take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you really think I'm going to let you get that free switch in? Absolutely not. Here, I'm just going to go for Dissipate. They actually stayed in and just went for the attack. That is completely fine. It does actually take me out. Okay, so I thought I would, like, just barely live. I guess not. So, it's Zulong time. I don't think they have um, an Earth-type Lumion. I actually don't remember what they had on their team. I'm not going to lie. But I can start going for some Thunder Strikes now to start doing some uh, big boy damage. And also, Lerula and Seer Knight go down. Okay, it actually lived. It's actually Milkshake. That must be, like, very clever or something, Glenn. Slap down. I do lose my, um... I do lose my special boots, but that actually isn't that big of an issue because they, um... already lost their boots on their Bar Badger, so we know nothing else on their team is most likely going to outspeed me. I might as well use this time as well to get all my energy back. And now we can start putting on the pressure. Seal Knight should go down here if the um, Eclipse comes out. I'm just going to Ancient Raw. This actually kind of helps me actually losing boots because I get to go for Ancient Raw now, whereas beforehand I would have to hard switch or just Thunder Strike with Eclipse. So honestly, they kind of help me out here. I'll, I'll take it. But yeah, I'm Ancient Rawing. I am not trying to take a hit from the Eclipse here. Or they actually double into Snagoop. I mean, either way, I did go for the Ancient Raw. That's a little bit unfortunate for me, because Snagoop is going to hurt my Florence a lot. But at the same time, I can't really switch back into Zulong Glow. I mean, hey, as long as Cosmior did his job, I'm pretty happy with this battle. I, 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 it kind of sucks a little bit, but it is what it is. I think we just go for Mega Chomp. I guess we could also go for our soul move but i mean it's gonna do like nowhere near as much damage as mega chomp snoop is like kind of somewhat frail so this might just knock it out if we're lucky enough no okay well i i i tried actually living for book up if i just went for the hard switch into zulong i mean th then what i think that'll just actually be game i'm actually surprised they did that well that's fine they go for air blade they do get the critical hit. I'm guessing that mattered. I I'm guessing. But it is fine. Now it's just Zulong. Zulong should else be this Nagoop. Oh, actually, no! I'm running very smart on this Zulong, I'm pretty sure. So it's Nagoop most likely outspeeds me! They actually do. Okay. Never mind. We just died. No! But hey, Cosmir did his job, at least. Okay, then, next up, now let's try the ranged tanky one, the clever Cosmere, which actually this is a way better matchup for a ranged tanky one. For the last battle, Robust was alright, but it was mostly just for the Serenite. Everything else on the team, I think, was a ranged attacker, so not actually the greatest matchup, but it still works for what I wanted it to do. Okay, let's go for the Zulong lead. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm trying to think. Did they have an Earth type? <laughs> I just, just saw their team, and I don't remember already. I'm just clicking Thunder Strike. I mean, hey, another Snagoop. At least this time, I'm hoping I'm going to get rid of it before it, like, completely destroys me late game. 
I honestly completely forgot this is a uh, very smart Zulong. I generally run my nimble smart one, but when I'm using my boots one, yeah, very smart, obviously. For the Gastro Clan, we can go into Cosmiar. The poison doesn't really matter. Also, yeah, this actually is a nerf type when it's all burst, so. Oh, actually, wait. Is this their soul burst or the Stratosol their soul burst? Or are they both potentially soul burst and he just brings the best one for the battle? I don't know. Either way, if it's going to go one way, I would assume that this is actually their um, soul burst because normal gastro sucks. <laughs> normal Stratosol is pretty freaking good. Here low, I'm going to go for Ice Traps. I don't really care about gastro. I mean, what's it really going to do to me now? Sorry, Sap planted me. Is it going to poison me? I, I don't really care. Okay, they actually do go for the withdrawal immediately into Luminami. This is great. I mean, what's Luminami going to do? Flash and flee? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to go for my dissipate here. Doesn't matter what they throw at me. Cause, and, and also, if they go for the flash and flee, they're always going to go first because dissipate is negative priority. So I will always pivot out after them. Frostbeam, that should do like negative like maybe 11 damage okay it did like 20 ish but we can heal later on now um i guess we could go meditoad the um yeah i i don't think the gastro soul bursted yet or maybe it isn't <laughs> maybe it isn't soul burst i'm gonna click psycho blast expecting the gastro to switch in so might as well hit it for neutral and potentially get that range defense drop. And hey, that's actually great. Luminami switches out before I attack. So that is actually great. Whatever switches in now is going to get hit super hard. Luminami has wasted so much energy. Ikazune, oh, this is probably a secret ability. Not going to lie, I kind of forgot about the Ikazune, but this thing is definitely dead now. Nice. Critical hit. I don't think that was necessary. Also, they 100% thought I was going to click Thunderstrike for the Luminami. Why would I do that? I would be obviously expecting the Gastroke again, right? Okay, Hunter is switching in. Hunter's actually a bit of a problem, uh, especially for Cosmior. But hey, I got Weasel in, so I'm just going to have to switch into this and try and give it um, Heavy Shackle so I can just deal with it later. And now also my Meditoad will outspeed it if I really desperately need it to outspeed it. So yeah. Also, uh, Trader did get nerfed to work at the end of the turn, or is planned. I don't think it actually works yet because I think it just happens immediately. So if it already hasn't happened, maybe the interaction on switching is still kind of weird. Um, it is going to be nerfed so where it'll only activate at the end of the turn. So there's a little bit of wiggle room. And then also I'm probably going to make that same change for Icicle Soul Burst ability for Bane of Haste. I mean, Auto Beneface is very strong already, so I think it makes sense. Here low, um, I could probably go for Bob's. Just go for some nice tip damage. Surprisingly, the Hunter stays in. I kinda wish I Tricky Tactics it now, but it's fine. I live. I can't go for Bob's again, but I will go for Tricky Tactics this time. I could also go for the Tribute, but they're just gonna have switch out Hunter if I do that, so... Might as well get a little bit of damage onto something. Hopefully the Hunter. They go for the weights. Why though? I'm so confused. Do they think I didn't have Tricky Tactics? Oh, I can't even use Tricky Tactics again. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing they thought I was like completely like support moves based. So I wouldn't like have any damaging move. I mean, I love Tricky Tactics. I need to give it out loads to some more Lumians that would actually use it. I think one of the most like older recent Lumians that I gave it to was Venelon. I actually need to go over a Venelon showcase sometime soon because I haven't showcased that for a long time and it has some new moves now. Chili Chomp will take me out which is completely fine. Thunder is getting kind of weak. We could actually just go for Shkana and throw off the Mudslide. I don't really want to waste my tsunami right now oh my, my water shell so i think i'll mudslide it should still should kill the hunter and if gastro switches in it's going to take some nice chip damage anyway and oh it's actually snagu no if i clicked tsunami that would have done so much damage to the snagu okay well <laughs> that is unfortunate 
We'll still save the Fishgana. I don't think it's worth sacrificing it here. We can just go into Cosmior. They're most likely going to go for Muck Blast. Hopefully, no, it's, hopefully not um, Muck Buck again. A Muck Buck. Buck up. Buck Blasts. There's a lot of damage. I think I can just barely take another one low, so I'm going to go for Slumber. At least I'm, I'm praying. <laughs> Please uh, let me live. Or hopefully they go for Withdrawal so I get an easy... No. Thatcher? Uh, what did I get? Thunder Orb. Okay. That actually really doesn't matter because I can just slumber off the Paralyze. And also, that means I can't get Poison now. So, I, I mean... Thanks, I guess? Also, Thunder Orb is a little weird for Snagoop. I, I feel like Volcanic Ashes is probably better. But, I mean, I'm not one to complain. I'll take it. Okay, so now we've got to like worry about potentially the Snoogoop starting to like start spamming setup moves. Look, Lilo, it just goes for the hard switch into Hunter. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I wake up this turn. Uh, no, I wake up now. Now this turn, I think. Now the issue is, I actually don't know if my dissipate will go off before Hunter. I don't know which one's slower because. <laughs> The Heavy Shackle should make them always go last, but is Dissipate minus six? That is also technically last. Uh, I, I don't actually know, but at the same time, I don't want Cosmo to get hit. So I think I actually just go for the hard switch. They're not going to go for any of the elemental chomping moves. They're just going to go for Vice Jaw. So easy fish Ghana switch in. Yep, we'll take it. And this time I am going to click Tsunami. So the... Um, the goop doesn't get a completely free switch in so yep might as well use my water shell now get some nice damage or just kill the hunter which i'll also take okay so now i've seen gastroke snagoop luminami is that it that is it okay cosmere is looking so good here because he only has range attackers left so i can just keep going to cosmere and pivoting into something that is like a, has a better matchup into it for Gastroke, you are definitely going to start spamming setup moves, I'm going to guess. It really sucks that I didn't bring my Chienta here for this battle. That would have been a really, really good bring for the Gastroke, because I only have range attackers left on my team. So, trying to deal with this thing is going to be very, very annoying. I'm going to need some nice critical hits, I think. Hit. Sat plant. Okay, never mind. Sat plant. So what? Stratagem. Sat plants. Photosynthesis. There's only one more move you can have. So it's either peace of mind or it is um, poison. I'm not actually sure. Luminami is switching in. That is completely fine. Uh, does my cousin wake up this turn? It does. Okay. Here, Lynn, I'm gonna go into. I want to go into Minitoad. But because we know Luminami outspeeds us, I don't think it's actually worth it because I could just get hit with like a Tsunami. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. So, I guess I'll go Fishgana and click Peace of Mind once. Just so I can like potentially just keep tsunami the Gastro. That might be the play. Actually, no, no. Is Frostbeam better? Frostbeam should hit it like super effective, just not quad effective, right? So I think I should still Frostbeam. Oh wait, I'm faster than Luminama. If he clicks Flash and Flea here, I am boned. Never mind, they go for Megatron. Okay, so it's a melee tanky Luminama. Uh, I guess I was throw off some mudslides, I guess, Lem. Just to damage the Luminama a little bit. I was kind of hoping for a range attack or Luminama, but that's completely fine. We do a decent amount of damage. I should take one more of those. I'm actually going to save the fish Ghana, so I um, can just sacrifice something later if I need to. For example, against the Snagoop, in case like it starts setting up or the Gastro starts setting up. But I can basically just avoid getting swept. Luminami here is most likely going to go for Mega Chomp again, so I just get an easy free dissipate into whatever I want. Or it goes for rest this turn. Okay, wasn't really expecting that, but whatever i guess well i'm just gonna go for a psycho blast here because if the gas stroke switches in i might get a range defense drop if it's the the snagoop 
I hit it super effective and it's pretty frail, so I mean, big damage. And it's Gastroke, okay. So that's gonna be Bab, chip damage, Asco Trap, chip damage, and Psycho Blast. Give me a range defense drop. Come on, baby. Damn it. Hmm. D do I just keep going for the Psycho Blast for the potential chance I might get the defense drop? I don't think it's worth it. They're gonna go for the heal. Or not. Okay. Maybe it doesn't have photosynthesis. Well, here. Do I just go into Zulong? No, no, no. I think I go Meditoad, right? If it's just got Stratagem to attack me, other than its Soul move, I can't really get hurt by it. So if I click Psycho Blast, I should always get a knockout here, I think. Okay, they have Briar Block. So Briar Block, Stratagem, Fet Plants. Not sure what their other move is, but I mean, it's fine. They are wasting my energy a little bit, which I'm not a big fan of. Stop it. There's Flora. Doesn't really do that much. So, yep. Yeah. It lived! Okay, I'm actually going to go for Waitland. They've already used their Soul move, so they're most likely going to go for Briar Block this turn. All set plants. Now they're going to Briar Block. Okay, I'm going to go... I'm going to switch back out. <laughs> do I just go into Fishgana here? I think I would Fishgana here, so they can't, like drain too much of my health and use my fish gun to like heal ourselves up there's rests okay i guess i could have attacked it why is it not click briar block again to start stalling me okay it's fine i'm just gonna click cross beam i'll speed it it's gone now right thank you <laughs> my gosh i play that pretty poorly but i don't know i was expecting the briar block like every other turn just to like waste my energy and get some health back I guess they didn't have photosynthesis. I'm so confused. Yes, I could let this Nagoop take out my Fishgana, although I really don't want to worry about them potentially trying to use it to set up on me. So I'm just going to go for the house switch into my Cosmere. I'll try and click Slumber. Bad news is I could get fully paralyzed, which would really, really suck. And actually like click Provoke. Honestly smart. That is uh, very bad for me. But I have Psycho Blast, so I mean, I get to hit them. And, uh, yeah, that's completely fine. I mean, once Cosmere goes down, I just go Zulong and start spamming Thunderstrike, and I'm pretty sure I just win. So, yeah, I mean, this Cosmere did a lot better. It sucks also that the last battle, I basically didn't, like, get that many melee attackers. It was, like, what, just Seer Knight? And, actually, I forgot about Bar Badger. Pretty sure the last guy had Bar Badger, but... I'm not really going to switch a Cosmere into a plus one Bar Badger that has Ice Hammer. Probably not a good idea. Just saying. And now it is Thunderstrike time. See you later, Snagoop. The Luminam is going to switch in, take a little bit of damage from the entry hazards, and yeah, just get one shot, hopefully. Okay, actually, the Luminam is a little bit over half health, so this might not one shot. It depends if it's very clever or like very robust. Looks like it's melee defensive, so we'll take it. So glad that battle went so much better than the first one, but I still think the first one, like, the Cosmere did its job against, like, the one Lumion. It was meant to, like, basically counter. It, it did its job, basically, in that battle. And for this battle that we just did, it did way freaking better. Okay, then, and jumping into the sets, let's first go over the Unleashed Cosmere. We're running 200 melee attack TPs with a brawny personality to hit as hard as possible. Then we have 200 speed TPs to let us be as fast as possible. The 20 energy TPs at level 50 will give us a grand total of 276 energy, which will let us use 5 Meteor Smashers, or we can substitute 1 Meteor Smash for a mixture of 2 Bulk Cups and Fire Slams. And then the 80 health TPs are leftovers. For the held item, I'm running a health amulet to keep my Cosmere healthy while I'm setting up Bulk Cups, although a more offensive item would be a good option too, like an Essence or a Shell. Then for the ability, we're running the normal ability Cosmic Pressure, which will let us basically nullify all of the weather effects while Cosmere is on the battlefield. And then finally for the moves, we're running Meteor Smash and Cerebral Slash as our strongest dab options. Fire Slam is for coverage to hit Metal and Dark type Lumions, and then Bulk Up lets us set up to deal even more damage. And now for the Encase Cosmere set, starting off with the melee bulky one, we're running 200 health TPs with 200 melee defense TPs, and on top of that we have a robust personality to be as tanky as possible. We don't need any energy investment because we already have an absurdly high energy stat, so 4 TPs will do, 
and then the Knight to 6 range defense TPs are leftovers to make us bulkier on the range side. For the held item, we're gonna want something defensive, I'm running Mysterious Dust so I can avoid being status ailmented, while also letting me potentially wake up sooner while using Slumber to heal myself, although you could use a health amulet, a milkshake, or even heavy armor if you wanted to. Then for the ability, we're running the normal ability Enchanted Cope, which lets us take less damage from moves that would hit us for super effective damage. And then finally for the moves, we're running Dissipate to pivot to our allies, Slumber will let us heal to stay healthy, Asco Traps will let us set up Entry Hazards to get some nice sweet chip damage, and our final move is Psycho Blast, which is our best stab option, so we can pick up weakened Lumians, and so we are complete provoke fodder. And then for the ranged defensive in case Cosmere, I'm not going to go over the entire set because it is the exact same as the melee defensive one. All you have to do is switch the defense TPs around and then switch the robust personality to clever. Although on top of that, you have got a few more options like running a frail personality to make tricky tactics hit you for less damage, although it really isn't necessary since in case Cosmere just doesn't have a melee attack that anywhere. And then when it comes to speed, you can either run 40 UP so you can have speed as much as possible when you aren't using Dissipate, or you could run 0 UPs and even pair it up with a sluggish personality to be as slow as possible to underspeed other peoples in case Cosmiores.